Hey guys, welcome back. So I know you're used to seeing this face for the past couple of videos. So for this video, I want it to cake on as much makeup as possible. <laughs> My face is already prepped and we are going to start with the Dior Skin Air Flash. I will have a link in the bottom bar of a more in-depth. I do use a flat top brush in the video, but I tried to use a wet beauty blender for this one. I sprayed it on the back of my hand first and then found that just spraying it directly on the beauty blender gave me a lot better coverage and it wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to put my foundation on and then we're gonna move straight on to brows. Now since we're using such dark colors, you may want to put your eye makeup on before you put your face makeup on, but I'm just going to try to go with the flow and do my eyes now. So I am using Brown Script from MAC, and I'm going to use this in the crease of my eye first, just for our gradient color, because if you don't know, this is a dark and smoky look. Um, but I do want it to kind of fade and have a gradient effect as it goes up to my brow bone, so that's why I'm placing this Brown Script color in my crease first. Um, I'm going to use a bunch of brushes. I'll try to list them all in the bottom bar. Um, just use whatever you feel can get your eye as blended as possible. Next, I'm going to pick up a little bit of black from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to place that on my lids just as a base so that our eyes will be really dark and we won't end up with like a gray shadow. I want it to be super, super black. Next, using the Dark Matter Melt Cosmetic Shadow Stack, I'm going to use the actual color Dark Matter, which is a super, super black, and I'm going to pack that all over my lid, um, kind of keeping it away from my crease right now. And if you did your foundation first, using a brush like this, which is the MAC 242, will prevent a lot of fallout from your eye. Next, I'm going to go on with a really small, detailed brush from Sigma, just to work it in the crease. Um, I'm using a small brush like this because I just want to keep it nice and neat, and I don't want to end up with like black shadow all the way up to my eyebrow. So by using a smaller brush, it just gives you more control. Here, I'm going in with a, another brush just to blend everything out. Again, I will list the brushes in the bottom bar, but it's a lot of packing color on, blending color out, packing color on, blending color out. So as long as you can do that, you can do this look. Meet my soldiers. So as you can see, the darkest part of our eye is pushed up against our lash line, and then it just kind of fades up into that brown script color. Again, it's just a lot of packing on color and blending that color out. Moving on to mascara, I'm in... I'm going to throw a couple of coats on my lashes to prep them for our false lashes, and I am wearing Velour Doll Me Ups. These are one of my favorite lashes of life. I just think they're the most beautiful things of life. Did I just say life? Like double time? Oh, whoops, my bad. So after I pop on lashes, we're going to move straight on to concealing and highlighting. I'm going to use my favorite combo of life, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and a little bit of Max Prep and Prime in Light Boost. I'm going to blend it all out with my fingers at first and then go in with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is nice and perfected. Next, to set our under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D and the color Lyric, and I'm just going to push that underneath my eyes. And for contour, I'm going to use the color Shadowland, and I couldn't find my brush at first, but then I find it in the next clip. And I'm going to just use that color to carve out my cheekbones, add a little bit of color to my temples and my chin as well. I am going to be skipping blush for this look, so I am going to apply a little bit of extra bronzer. I'm not going to apply the Kat Von D, I'm going to throw on a little bit of Max MSF in the color Deep, just because it's a little more warm, so it kind of acts as a blush color for me. 
Then I'm just going to take a large stippling brush and blend over my face to make sure everything is seamless. Going back to the eyes, I'm gonna take Costa Riche from MAC and I'm going to run this in the waterline of my eyes and I'm going to run it super close to my lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and pick up a little bit more of brown script from MAC and push that against my lower lash line. And then once that is all over our lower lash line, I'm gonna go back to the Melt Cosmetics Dark matter pick up a little more of the black and push that under there just so we have the same kind of idea happening on our lower lash line as we do above and then I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend everything out so it's nice and smoky that was a lot <laughs> Taking Spice from MAC, I'm gonna use this to line my lips. I had already lined them and the camera wasn't turned on, so I'm just going over them. Um, and then I am going to just slightly fill in my lips with the lip liner. Then taking Hourglass's lipstick in nude number three, I'm just gonna use that all over my lips and then go back in with the Spice lip liner just to make sure everything is blended and it just doesn't look so flat. And to finish it off, I'm gonna use this gloss from NYX, but I don't know what the name is, it just came in a pack. So after this look is complete, I mean after your lip is complete, this look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dark and smoky look. I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.